Hey, I'm Adam Lambert. Check out my interview here on Slice.ca. Someone had a question about Broken Open, mm -hmm. and they wanted to know um, what inspired you to write it, and what does it mean to you? Broken Open is a song that is about um, some experiences that I had in my life where um, people that I was close to opened up to me um, in an emotional way. They weren't afraid to let it all kind of just break apart. Um, you know, to be vulnerable, to be real, to show their true colors, and and a lot of those true colors were were insecurities, things that that were um, doubts, things like uh, you know I don't really know who I am or who I want to be in this life, and I don't I don't feel like I got it together, and um, it was really about those moments where I tried as hard as I could to make them feel safe about that and that it was okay to be confused about your life and it was okay to be shattered in a bunch of pieces and, and not holding it all together. Um, one of the lines in there is that I, I'll hold it together, I'll, I'll make it okay and it's safe. So that's what it's about. When will you begin touring and are you planning any dates in Canada and internationally? Uh, I don't know yet when I'm going to start touring, hopefully sometime this year. Um, it's definitely going to be worked on. I, it most likely will happen, and that's all I know right now. <laughs> You're such a huge inspiration to so many people. What's it like to be in that position, and do you feel it's a huge weight to carry? It, it feels great to be in a position um, in which I'm inspiring people. and It makes me feel great. Any artist loves to hear that. You know, That's partially why we do what we do. It's to to help people, or it's to whether it's just a simple escape, and it's joy, and it's fun, and it's dancing, uh, to something a little bit heavier, uh, you know, to, to empowerment. Um, I think it's it's great to to be able to do that for people, and th it is a little bit of a responsibility. I, I've been told in in some interviews and by some people like you know you're you're a role model for this or that, and I'm like oh gosh, you know that's a, that's. That's asking a lot of me, like I'm just trying to sing, you know, but um, if indirectly that's what it's doing for people, I am so thrilled. If you were throwing a dinner party, who would be your five ideal dinner guests? And they can be alive or they could be passed on. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, if I were to throw a dinner party and I could pick five people, alive or dead, I'd invite Freddie Mercury. I've always wanted to meet him. I would invite Jesus, because you know that would be interesting. Um, God, this is like really abstract and amazing. This is taking me a minute. Jesus and Freddie Mercury, that's kind of an interesting, they're on like one end of the table. Um, Abraham Lincoln, I'd invite Abraham Lincoln also to my dinner party. Um, Janis Joplin. Lady Gaga, why not? Let's go contemporary. Okay. You know, she'll keep, she'll wear some weird thing, and Jesus will look at her like, girl. What else can we look forward to from you this year? Hopefully, you guys can look forward to more music, uh, more videos. Hopefully, a tour, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll be on the smaller or the big screen this year. So that's 2010 for me. Hey, what do you want from me?